Hello there, everybody. This is Alex from Hardcoin Guys, bringing you my guide for Cultic Chapter 1 on Extreme Difficulty. Today, we are doing mission number 8, the Asylum. This was actually my other favorite level, and there's a lot of reasons why. One, it's got great combat music. It's so creepy, and the aesthetic fits so well. Also, up there, um, that's our first secret. I think there's like five secrets, or four. That's our first secret up there. But yes, this level is so aesthetically pleasing. It's so cool. Uh, but then it gets kind of a little harder later when the fire starts. But, you know, let's see what I'm talking about when we get in there. Also, I remember, like, in my first playthrough, I used to think that was some kind of weird, like, field kit met. I, I used to think that was, like, a, a med kit. but uh, Or field kit, as they call it, but it was not, so... Yeah, we got our first secret already. I think that was my second secret, was under those stairs. So that's secret number two. And there's going to be a ghost in here. You know, no surprise. That's your first spook, if you really wanted to be spooked, I guess. I mean, to be fair, like, this level isn't, like, super, you know, drop-dead scary. But it's just, like, it's creepy and it's spooky enough to where, like, something may catch you off guard. There's also two ghosts in this room, by the way. So, you know, lob a TNT if you have any or whatever you want. Be careful the bear traps, though, because they're freaking everywhere. First ghost is right here to the uh, to the right, and the second one's behind that pillar to the left. So, deal with them as you see fit. I always just use pistols just because it's easier. They don't really do much in terms of damage, besides throwing shit at you. That's mostly it. That poltergeist activity. It's kind of funny how, like, they actually are a physical being. That could be not only be shot, but, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe, like, ghost is, like, a term for, like, somebody that's super psychic or something. Also, coming up, uh, whip out a, a Molotov or a TNT, whatever you prefer, uh, and then lob that bitch right down the middle, like right above this little uh, fence here, because there's a ton of cultics in here, like a ton. I missed a good portion of them, so I had to resort to fire. That was my bad. I ended up messing up, so that's what happens when you're not prepared enough, right? Yeah. But what's funny is, like, in my easy mode playthrough, I actually got them all in, like, one shot, and I was super excited about it, but not all winners. Or not everybody could be a winner. All right. Next little area. Um, I don't know if you can actually get to the secret from here or not, but we're not going to worry about that right now because I ended up just kind of messing up anyway. I missed my shot. There's going to be a, uh, let's just call him a belly monster. I don't know what they're called. So he's going to appear down here. There's going to be zombies. And if you stay in this little corner, they, they pretty much, he pretty much can't get to the door. Also, uh, these guys can actually, like, kill their brethren, uh, for you, which is nice. So, if you're worried about the zombies, you know, they might be able to actually get a couple of kills in. But just worry about your shotgun and just blast them. Like Zorak says, you know, blast them. So... Alright, next little area, there's going to be a ghost behind this tub, and, you know, kill it, of course. Psh, we want that thing to die. Another ghost, and I think there's a third one. Yes, there's three in here. So, I think the ghosts have a really cool design, though, honestly. Like, you kind of wonder, like, why they're a ghost and what the fuck happened to them, you know? There's a lot of, like, deep... Backstory lore with all this stuff. I, I kind of wish we had like a bestiary so we can actually like look at the enemies and see what they either represent or whatever. So I, I think it'd be kind of nice. Also, you have to crouch through. It's kind of weird, but yeah, that I, I like that part. That's one of my favorite parts of this level. It's just the the wheelchair rolling in. That's that's pretty cool. There is actually a sort of um, jump scare warning I'm going to give you in a second. I think it comes in this room right now. So, yeah. It kind of got me there for a second. You saw me stop and I'm like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the hanging man. There's no enemy, but, you know, that that's still a pretty good scare. It's just enough to where, it, like, it spooks you, but you, you kind of know what's coming, but it's nothing too bad. Ghost across the hall and ghost to the right. Easy kills. Which is funny because I didn't even realize, after I'd killed both, I didn't realize that I actually killed the first one. Because I was kind of like still hesitant about where the other one was at. And I'm like, where the fuck is he? But it's like, oh, wait, he's already dead. I, I, you know, I sometimes I make good shots, I just don't even realize it. Yeah, there's something coming out of that armor, all right. It's pretty nasty. Some viscera, as he says. Also, I opened up this room like an idiot. Uh, and I pretty much just kind of just opened up the floodgates at that point. 
and oops, I hit my shelf. Look, I'm I'm fucking tall, okay? I'm fucking tall. My legs are huge, and I hit everything with my body. Everywhere I go, there's just never a door that I just don't hit. There's never some weird ass object that I just randomly hit for no reason. That that's the life of just being this you know, low down shelf, really tall ass, big ass leg douchebag. So Something I gotta deal with. Alright, administration is gonna hold our next secret coming up. Uh, but first, we gotta take out these guys. So, you know, bubble along as I do. Do what you gotta do. I know I say that very often, but I do mean it though. Like, you know, you don't have to do exactly everything I do, of course. This is your way to play. I'm just kind of showing you guys where enemies are gonna be at. And yeah, this is what I get for opening the door early. Uh, that's payback. On my end. That was not exactly where I was intending to go. I just kind of made the mistake of opening the door and thinking like, Oh, I wonder where that lead led again. I forgot. And then I found out like, ah, shit. So, my bad. But yeah, the music is great here. The combat music is great. I forget. I think it's called, uh, it's called something like not so, what is it? Uh, I don't remember. I know the other track I like is called The World Asunder, and yeah, you can tell like I like the music considering the fact that I know the names of the songs. That's rare. <laughs> That's rare when I know the names of your of a song of a video game. Because 9 times out of 10, they're kind of like named something funky like Test 063 or something shit like that. Also, this is the first appearance of the armor enemies. So I'm going to have to start calling the armored guys probably something else. But yes, these are the actual... We'll call them the, we'll call them the knights. How about that? We'll call them the knights. So this is the first appearance of the night enemies, and they're not too difficult to deal with. They do have a range shot that is kind of a bit annoying, but other than that, like a couple of shotgun shots should be enough to take them out with ease. Also, can I just say right now, I didn't realize this until now, I'm so glad that the quote-unquote super shotgun that we have in this game is the only shotgun. The double barrel being the only shotgun makes everything so much better. I, I never realized that until now. That having basically a shotgun and a super shotgun just kind of just makes it more, a little bit more irritating to kind of like deal with. Because like I had to switch to one gun to use one of the shots. And if I want to use the double barrel, I just use the secondary fire for that secondary shot, right? It works. So, yeah, more games do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things where, like, I didn't really notice until now, but, yeah, having a double barrel where I can just shoot it one shot at a time actually is something I wish would happen more often. Um, I did die here, so I learned my lesson. Open this door and go ahead and just take out some guys from, like, the left or right. Try to stay in this room as, as long as you possibly can. Try to get these guys to come to you, because, like, once you start poking your head out here, you're pretty much just free game for them to shoot you down with. And that's never fun, so... Yeah... Um, sorry, I'm distracted. I'm looking over at, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at, like, YouTube over here on my side. But, um, yeah, basically just, you know, hide in that little room as long as you possibly can and just try to stay in cover, take out these guys, make your way across. Nothing special about that. No, nothing new to really say. Also, we're like two levels but no, we're almost done. Um, toss a TNT at the very far end of this, and you're going to have a harvester. Um, if you have an incinerator, burn them. If you don't, Molotov. Try to, like, you know, catch him in the doorway. You know, make him catch him on fire eventually. Kill him, and make your way to the next little area. And right now, I'm just going back and just looking for things. So... Nothing too crazy. Honestly, looking back at it now, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish... Oh, yeah. Here's our next secret, by the way. I may have missed a secret earlier. I, there's only five in this level, actually. Um, that should be secret number four by now, I believe. To give you guys kind of an idea of where we're probably at. It should be secret number four, I think. Secret number five is actually not that hidden. Like, you will see secret number five. You will see it, probably. Like, I'm 90% sure, like, your your brain will just automatically register, like, oh, that's the secret. Okay, cool. 
Nice shot, good shot. I just want to play this game again. I just, I did, oh, God. This is like Postal Brain Damage all over again. We're like, I played the shit out of that for a while. Oh, we are missing, I think. No, we got the, we got the, the health. Yeah. It was the health that I was, I, I, I forgot to mention was a secret. We got the max HP one. Um, so next up, the secret number five is coming up. This is going to be our last secret. Um, first... I get really lucky right here because the enemy ends up shooting the lantern and burning his own teammates. So that came in handy. There's actually a guy across the way that you have to um, shoot down with whatever you've got. So blast him, you know. And then secret number five, right there where I'm pointing. Yep. It's right there on that glowing object. But there's a shotgun up there, so be careful. But yeah, I was going to say earlier before all this stuff was happening. Um... Maybe, you know, it would have been nice if I actually beat this game on Extreme first and then went back and played it, but I'm so impatient that I just want to just do it. And I'm just kind of giving you guys advice to things kind of like what to do and what not to do. So I guess it works out in the end, right? Maybe. I don't know. Take out him. Uh, in order to get this next secret, you have to walk on these rafters here. So as you'll see, I'll show you in a second. So just go ahead and crouch, jump on top of this, and no need to jump anymore. Just make your way across and grab your weapon parts. That's secret number five out of five. Now the rest is gonna be hard. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this. You will get a checkpoint, but I hope you're ready to, to deal with uh, absolute, absolute pain and misery. So checkpoint, um, place this on fire. Once you go down these stairs, Turn immediately to the left of these stairs and start aiming for the incinerator enemy. See if you can try to shoot him in the back to get the fuel tank to explode. If you're lucky enough, you can. You're going to want to tackle him first. You're going to want to get rid of him first. Uh, yeah, these guys are shooting at you and they're annoying. Okay, yeah, get rid of them first too. But you pretty much want to instigate the first attack with the incinerator, with the flamethrower enemy. That way you can take out him. Uh, you know, you want to get as much damage on him as you possibly can before you start heading down these stairs. Because, you know, God forbid, if you start catching on fire, you're fucked. That seems to be the nature of the game. Uh, fire, bad. I can't wait till, like, chapter two when, he, uh, when all of a sudden, you know, we get, like, liquid nitrogen or some shit like that. Just to, <laughs> just as a joke. I'm gonna actually... I would actually laugh my ass off. Okay, I, I won't, but... I, I don't know. I have I have nothing to say about that. Like, if that actually happens, I'll be genuinely surprised. I'll be like, hey, you know, you stole my idea. <laughs> Give me credit, you dick. Come to my video and tell me. Don't be a douche. It was my idea. But probably isn't. Maybe it's already in the works. Who knows? I have so many ideas for what Chapter 2 could be like. It's just insane. Like, I, I just... I, I just... I don't want to wait, damn it! I want to know when there's a potential chance of it coming out. Um, but yeah, so with this guy, um, I get really lucky with him just standing in one place, which is nice. And I just kind of just shoot, you know, a few bullets down here to try to. Yeah, you see that? That's the foreshadowing I was talking about earlier in that one video with the zombie. That guy jumped really fucking high to get up to me, though. Um, but yeah, I just pick him up from above. I don't try to go down there and you know deal with the incinerator. Try to take out the incinerator from, like, above ground. But then once he's done with, you know, you can come down here and start doing the knights. Do be very careful, though, because, uh, this place is on fire. And not only that, but the knights are just kind of dangerous, too. So, anyway, that's it for this level. And I'll see you guys for basically the technical last level. So, as always, take care, everybody.